Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January the 9th of 2020, well, it is titled Perihelion to Aphelion. So what do we see here? Well, this is actually two images of the sun combined together. And on the left-hand side, we have an image of the sun taken very recently, just a few days ago on January the 5th. And on the other one, we see one taken about uh, six months ago on June the 28th of last year. And if you notice, up at the top there, there is a little bit of a difference in the size of the two. That the image of the sun taken six months ago was a little bit smaller than the image of the sun taken just a few days ago. Now, the sun does not change in size that drastically in six months. So, what is this? This is actually the changing position of the Earth. And the Earth does have an elliptical orbit, which means it gets closer to the sun at times, and at other times it gets further away. When you are close to something, it looks bigger. So on January the 5th, we were a little bit closer to the sun, and that made the sun on that day look a little bit larger than it did on the 28th of June, where it looked slightly smaller. Now, honestly, you're never going to notice this looking at the sky. If you just glance at the sun or watch a sunrise or sunset, you're not going to see that there's a difference. It's a very small difference, but it is very definitely there. So the Earth does get closer and further from the sun over time. However, one of the misconceptions that I often have to deal with is that this has something to do with the seasons. Now, you would think being a little bit closer to the sun would make it warmer, and being a little bit further away from the sun would make it cooler. So often people think that this is why we have summer and winter. However, the difference is not that large. And if you look at the dates here, we are also closest to the sun on January. So for those of us in the northern hemisphere, that would not coincide with the southern uh, summer months when we are close to the sun. And we are furthest from the sun here, and actually in the beginning of July, but this image is close to that. And that would not correspond, at least for those in the northern hemisphere, with our winter time. So the changing distance between the Earth and the Sun actually has nothing to do with the uh, chain with the seasons. The seasons are actually caused by the Earth's axis tilt, and that we are leaning into the Sun, causing the Sun's rays to strike us more directly in the summer months, and for the Sun to be up for a longer amount of time. Days are longer during the summer, and we have more daylight at that point and less daylight during the winter, and the Sun's rays strike us at a much shallower angle, spreading their energy uh, more weakly across the surface of the Earth. So it all has to do with that. And it also, if we think about it, it also means that that is why the seasons are reversed. When the northern hemisphere is tilted towards the sun, we get our summer. But at that same point, the southern hemisphere would be getting winter as it is tilted away from the sun. Were the seasons caused just by the distance, then we would all have summer and all have winter at the same time. So here we get to see in our picture of the day two of those images showing how the apparent size of the sun changes between aphelion, which is our closest approach to the sun, and perihelion, which is our, I'm sorry, between aphelion, which is our most distant time from the sun, and perihelion, which is our closest time to the sun. So that was our picture of the day for January the 9th of 2020. It was titled Perihelion to Aphelion. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be clouds like pearls. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.